Hi everybody, today we would like to give you some insights into the main weakness of a Hoshi stone, the Sun Sun point. We will show you what can happen when white invades here, and will include some tricky variations. Truth be told, invading a Hoshi stone on Sun Sun is usually done when the opponent already has other stones around. Let's first have a look at an example. This is the position of a professional game between Hu Yao Yu and Wang Lu played in 2009. Black just played P12 and is building a framework at the top. You are white, Wang Lu, and about to make your move. Where would you play? Many of you might have thought about approaching the Hoshi Stone in the usual way, but strangely enough, the normal move is wrong. The problem of the white approach with A is the many black stones that are around. If black gets the chance to simply defend his corner, white has no space to make a base and will have to run. White makes a small group at the top, but he has another weak group in the center. Black will try to split them and attack them simultaneously. Instead, in the game, Wang Lu invades on San San. So how do you know when to simply approach a Hoshi stone and when to invade on 3-3? As a rule of thumb, you invade on San San when your opponent has a double wing formation from his Hoshi, like black 1 and 2. This is the perfect example of a double wing formation. When your opponent has this kind of formation, be sure to play severe and strike at the center, the Sun Sun. The reason that this white invasion is so successful has everything to do with the large scale framework Black is trying to build. Since both Black stones are equally as high and equally as far away from his Hoshi, Black has a tough decision to make. Blocking at A or B is all the same. Black would like to block at A and B at the same time, which is of course impossible. If black blocks from one of the two sides, we can expect the following standard pattern. This pattern is the most basic one when it comes to invading a Hoshi stone. Important about this sequence is that white took the corner in Sente. A lot of black's potential territory has been destroyed and white still holds the initiative and can play Tanuki. Note the positions of the stones at 1 and 2. These two stones originally formed a double wing formation of black. Is black still happy with their placement? As much as 1 is helping black, it builds up territory from the side of his wall, it feels like it's standing a bit too close to black's strength. On top of that, the stone at 2 looks slightly strange. When white invades, and black has only one high wing stretching from his Hoshi, the marked stone, black won't hesitate. Black has no other choice and blocks from this side to make his stones work together. Like this, we return to the same Joseki position. White still has Sente. The main difference for black is the absence of a stone at A. This result is better for black than the previous variation. If white would play Tanuki, would you still play here as black, like in the double wing formation? Black would choose to play further away from his strength. Or to try out other huge skill plans, or simply leave the incredible strong group at the top for what it is. Since the top group is already strong, it doesn't really need an extra stone. Now that we've seen the main sequence where white destroys the corner in Sente, let's have a look at some other possibilities. When white plays this Hane, black does not have to extend. Black can also play the severe double Hane. This black Hane can be very powerful. White has two possible responses. Going for the right side with one, or starting a strong counter attack and aiming for the top with two. 
This Atari is the easiest of the two and leads to a straightforward result. White takes the black stone and sacrifices his corner. This result is locally even. White gets a ponuki shape on the outside and keeps sente. Black gets a very big corner, but the two white captured stones still have a lot of aji. This aji makes it easier for white to invade at the top, for example around A. Let me show you. This leaves a lot of aji moves on the top side. But even if white doesn't get the opportunity to use the aji around A, this exchange still leaves him some benefits in the corner. This hane for white is big endgame. What is the correct answer for black? This gives white the opportunity to play this in the late stages of endgame. Instead, this is the correct move. If white is not interested in the right side, but in the top instead, the honey at 2 is interesting. Black has to block, it's the only move. It looks like white is confined to the corner, but he has this powerful Tsuji. The proper answer for black. Black has many other choices, but they are usually wrong. Another trade is the result. Black takes the corner and white is happy with the top. Black can also try something different here. This tricky cut. It looks like a crazy overplay, but it's actually a good probe. However, black needs a favorable ladder for this to work. If white has the ladder, he can extend on the second line. This is the letter. If the letter is good for white, this is of course a great result for him. If white has the letter, the best black can do is to play Atari from the other side. Like so. This result is slightly better for white, so black really needs the letter to play this tricky cut. If black has the letter, White cannot extend at A. Capturing the black stone is one possibility. In the first and most basic variation of this episode, White also took the corner, but was not completely surrounded. Black still had an open skirt on the right side. But now the marked stone blocks White. White is completely sealed in. Also, A is big endgame and sente for black. If white does not respond, black can make a big co in the corner. Black can take this co first, so white has to find the first co threat. This is the second option for white. Today we showed you most of the Josaki patterns that come forth from this black hane. Next week we will continue to explain the Sun Sun invasion of a Hoshi stone, and will surprise you with some other tactics that black can apply.